All right, welcome to another lesson of Lightning Learning Lessons. Today, we are reviewing how to get a photo, a PNG photo, into GIMP. Now, just like almost anything on a computer uh, or electronically, there are just so many ways to go about doing this. I plan to show you the absolute easiest way to take a photo from a Google image search and put it onto a GIMP canvas into its own layer. Let's begin. So to begin, you of course have to have Google open. Now, up here in our URL bar, we're going to do a search for the word, or the words, cute puppy PNG. Search. That brings up a great image search. We're gonna click on images, and we're going to click on this photo of a puppy. Now you may notice there are a lot of options. This option, our first option, is no good. If you notice, it shows this uh, nice cute dog, but behind it, it shows the squares. You may think that's what you want, but it is not what we want. We want a, a photo that in the thumbnail, which is the smaller version, the thumbnail, it shows a solid background of white. And then when you click on the photo, it should show these squares. So again, if the photo shows squares in the, th uh, the small thumbnail, that is not what you want. That will not work for you. You want a photo that shows your image and behind it, solid white, like this. When you click on it, such a photo will have a solid background of squares. Now, this is only if you search for PNG. Now, right here we see we've clicked on our photo. We have the, uh, the photo that we were looking for, a nice cute puppy. Uh, and behind it, we have uh, checkered squares, which is what we're looking for. If we right click and click on the photo, you have this list of options. We want to copy image, copy image, click. Once we've copied our image, we want, of course, uh, want to, of course, bring it back to GIMP. But how do we do that? We need to paste. Once you copy something, you almost always are going to want to eventually paste it. Now, if we go up to edit, paste, we could also be hitting command V, edit, paste, that will bring our photo into our canvas. Loading, loading, loading. Now, if you notice, we have marching selection lines around our photo. That's telling us this job is not finished yet. Even though you can see it and you have pasted it into your GIMP canvas, this job is unfinished. We can see that also by seeing in our layers tab over here on the right, it says floating selection layer. Oh my goodness, that's just no good. To correct this issue, we must double click on the floating selection layer. Bup -bup. It will allow you to rename the layer anything that you want. Now, it's important that you label this layer something that makes sense, something that describes what is in the layer. And for us, it is the cute puppy. Boop. If you notice now, those selection lines that were once around our puppy are gone. We have this large box telling us how large this layer is, and the puppy is in its own layer. We can confirm that by clicking on the eyeball right here and hiding or showing our image. Well, that's it. That is how you copy an image from Google, paste it into GIMP, and then you can get going with it. Thanks so much for watching. Keep on going.